Hello guys and welcome back to another tips and tricks video and today we are talking about Monoto liquid chrome pens. Now these came yesterday and I didn't get a chance to have a go of yesterday so we are learning as we play today. <clears throat> um, they're alcohol based just like most other pens that you get. Gundam markers I think are very similar. Um, so if you've been using marker pens um, for for whatever, then you know um, you know what, what what you're doing with them. But this is a talk about the, the type of paint that's in these, rather than the use of the pens themselves. Um, now I've already done some pieces, um, which are here, and uh, these are the inner funnels. Um, of the Sazabi, uh, the Sazabi's uh, secondary weapon system. Um, the camera is really, really not showing how how shiny these are. It's ref they reflect like like madness. It's so cool. Um, and I've I've primed these. Um, let, let them dry for an hour and then I just went over the top and that is really blurry uh, but these are really really mirrory <laughs> that's all um, so much so the white balance is going all over the place the, the, it just, the, the, the focus doesn't know what to do with itself so what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of an action stand it is the inner piston of the, the joist that, that holds the arm up um, so what I'm going to do is see if this goes straight onto bare plastic um, it is alcohol based so I should be able to use a lot of fluid to take it away um, if I don't like it and whatnot. Uh, these two pens this two pack um, one mil and two mil uh, it does come in a three pack or you can get them singularly uh, individually sorry um, I think they're about seven pound each uh, these were 18 pound for the two uh, I think it was 24 maybe a bit more full three but I didn't really need the thicker one I think two mil is enough also you can take the nibs out of these and pour them straight into an airbrush and use them just like any um, lacquer base paints um, on like a 15 psi 12, 12 to 15, low PSI because it's quite thin. Um, and you can get a 30 mil refill for these, um, or just use a 30 mil straight in an airbrush. So it's really versatile, got loads of different application options. And what I want is the thicker one. So, as you know, give them a bit of a shake, push the nib down, get the paint activated because it uses capillary action. So, it's such a cool word, isn't it? And it goes on wet. And it's so shiny already, I don't know where it's gone and where it ain't. Now this also is designed to go hard, go off, and not require any clear coat, but if you say this is a moving part, for example, it's gonna be going in and out of, of the tube, so to speak, um, you're gonna to want to, uh, to protect the paint.
Now when you do lay it on thick, obviously where you have the paint, uh, the piece like stood up, it might run. So you've got to be mindful of that. And obviously pieces like this, uh, long pieces would be better off uh, being uh, applied with an airbrush. I mean, this is great for doing like little, little detailings and and stuff on small pieces. But when you want to do long, long pieces like this, uh, airbrush application is going to be ideal. Now you're not going to see in this camera, but it's highly reflective. I mean, it's it's got such a shimmer to it. Um, it's it's not even funny how how chrome that is, um, and the camera is just not doing it justice. And I tell you what, you, you get it yourself. You put it on something, and you'll be blown away. It is mirror like. And when it when it dries, and you put. Um, a clear coat on it can go a bit foggy and it will lose its shine I mean like I say it's not designed to have clear coat put on it um, so if you're putting it on something it's going to be touched um, and you do put a clear coat on it it might lose its sheen um, but straight on the plastic it, it just looks phenomenal um, I can't believe how how chromey that is um, and, and that essentially is that. Um, Molotto uh, alcohol liquid chrome 20 year edition pens. I would get these in your life um, if you want anything chromey or anything shiny or anything detailed. And uh, even uh, the sticker, that that is what you're gonna get. You get that, that, that shiny chrome look. It doesn't light here, um, it isn't a con. Um, I don't know what sort of wizardry or science or alien alien technology this is, but it's amazing. Um, and to be fair, it shouldn't be available to the public. They should be keeping this under wraps because this stuff is is insane. Anyway, um, that's another another video for me for from this 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 series. Um, <laughs> but I can't get over that cry with that. Is it's just so that's just mind blowing. It's awesome. But anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, any questions, uh, leave your comments uh, down below. I'll try to answer them. Uh, in terms of thinning, you don't need to thin it because it's really thin anyway. Uh, you wouldn't want to thin it, but I'm assuming if you do, I'd use uh, alcohol-based thinners, like a lacquer thinner or something. Um, but I've not seen anyone use a thinner with these yet. Um, but I know lighter fluid will probably take it away and alcohol, rubbing alcohol and stuff like that. Um, again, you don't really want to be putting a lacquer on. If you do, um, maybe pledge clear again. Um, you might lose some of the mirrorness or you, if you use like a hardener um, type lacquer, um, a two part two part system, uh, that, that might work. But look on forums and stuff like that if you're not, if you're not sure. Um, but I certainly wouldn't want to put any sort of lacquer on something that's already shiny, like really, really impressive shine. Um, so again, um, thanks, thanks for joining me and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.